What's up, Internet friends? This is your friend, Eric Banholtz from BeardBrand.com. Just uh, coming on the Internet today just to give you some beard tips on how to best grow and maintain your beard so that you live up to your bearded genes potential. Now, a little bit about that first. We all have certain beard genes, certain beard growth potential. Some, some are more fortunate than others. But my job today is we can't change who you are. You can't change your genetics. I, for instance, I've got a pretty good stash, pretty good uh, chin part. But really, my cheeks are uh, uh, maybe a little bit thinner than the people that are winning the beard competitions and just really those epic beards out there that you're just like, I want one of those. Well, you're not going to get them. You got what you got. But what we can do is... Here's your potential, and here's where you may be, and hopefully we can get you up to here instead of taking you down to here. So I want to give you a little tips. There's really two aspects. It's the inside and the outside. So what to do inside your body to help with beard growth potential, and then what to do once the beard has grown and how to maintain it and make sure that it doesn't fall apart on you. So I want to talk about kind of my regiment. Um, on the inside, key aspect is to stay in shape, stay fit, stay healthy. Weightlifting is great for building testosterone, which is great for growing beards. So if you want to integrate a weightlifting routine into your lifestyle, it would be recommended to live up to your beer potential. Diet, you want to make sure you're eating right, eating healthy, not maintaining you know, crappy foods, processed foods, high grease foods. Um, I'm not a dietitian, but you know what's good for you. You know what's not good for you. I know I'm not eating the perfect diet, so to make up for that, I take some multivitamins. Uh, the multivitamins that I personally take is a Mega Man Sport. Uh, it's a fairly expensive uh, multivitamin. It's, it's fairly robust. I'll provide links on the blog with everything that's in it. So you can learn more about that information. Um, there's tons of multivitamins out there. You can take what you choose. Um, you probably get a better deal than these. I take um, biotin. Um, this is to help with the growth of hair and, uh, and nails. I think they call it like vitamin H in uh, Germany or something for, for head and healthy hair and nails. I, I, I don't know. But anyways, your fingernails are going to explode once you, you start taking these. And then uh, for my uh, omega-3, I take some uh, fish oil. So I'll take 2,000 um, milligrams of these, which is two, two pills, and then uh, one of these and two of these every single day. And uh, it'll turn my pee neon green. Um, and does it help? I don't know. I'm, I'm not doing a scientific study, but it's to make up for my poor diet that I know exists. So uh, what do we do once we get on the outside? Well, I don't shampoo the beard every day. I find that shampooing it strips all the natural oils out of there and just really leaves it frizzy and full. Um, frizzy and wiry, I should say. If I want it to be full, I actually shampoo it because it kind of dries it out and puffs it out. Um, but if I do uh, shampoo it, I, I always condition it. And sometimes I'll condition it without uh, shampooing it. And you can use any conditioner out there, but one thing that I want to recommend is if you look on the back of the label, you probably won't see this. It says uh, jojoba oil. Um, that's kind of the, the oil out there that's really good for uh, maintaining uh, your beard moisture and keeping it under control. Um, in terms of products, I, I really don't put a lot of products. Um, I, I, I'm not a big, you know, handlebar guy. Um, I do, I do just kind of brush it out with my fingers, like this, and then uh, sometimes I'll put a little bit of product in. Um, and if I do that, I'll go with the uh, Crew Fiber, which uh, gives more of a natural look than, uh, um, you know. Uh, a higher wax. If I do want to have a little more sheen in there, 
I use uh, this, but these aren't really designed for mustaches in particular. There's uh, probably some better products out there that I haven't tried yet. If you're a company out there and you'd like me to try it and review it and tell all of our followers um, what it's like, I'd be happy to do that. Just uh, shoot me a call. I've got two brushes. Uh, this is the beard brush. Just your standard uh, wire frame. Uh, do a daily brush in. And uh, I'm a little OCD, so rather than me play with my beard, I'll grab the, the brush and uh, just kind of brush it along. And that kind of helps prevent me from just, you know, self destroying the beard. For my mustache, um, I go with your standard. Uh, comb. And there you have it. Tips, more tips are uh, on the blog. You can uh, follow the link below and uh, I've got a good written up article that goes into a little more details about the products and a little more tips. Hope you guys found this enjoyable. See you on the blog and cheers and happy bearding.